Uh, we are on the air. You'll be able to vote again live and save an act who is in danger of going home. That's the new Snapple Save vote. Go to NBC.com slash AGT Snapple Save to find out more. The show starts tomorrow at 9, 8 central. Okay, this next act has only been together for a few months, but they're already making major waves. It's the incredible Sons of Serendip. It's crazy to think that five or six months ago, the Sons of Serendip did not even exist. Our name comes from an old Persian tale called the Three Princes of Serendip. Three princes go on a journey and make discoveries by accident. And we feel that this group came together by accident. If we hadn't all come to Boston University, we wouldn't be a group right now. I came to play the harp through Rosalind Lewis, my old chorus teacher. She said, who would like to learn how to play the harp for free? I just simply heard free, and I said, sure, why not? I'll play it. I grew up in church, as both my grandparents are ministers. When I was 10, my teacher laid all the string instruments out on the floor and asked us to pick one. When I was little, there was a piano in the corner of my church. I would sneak over to it and tinker on it. I began singing in church, but I really didn't fall in love with singing until my chorus teacher pulled me aside and told me that she thought I had potential as a singer. And so I went home just glowing, and I told my parents, and I'm like, Mrs. Daniel, my chorus teacher told me that I can sing. And they're like, really? <laughs> <laughs> we're a happy accident, and we're going on this crazy adventure called America's Got Talent together. How'd they do? You sang so beautifully again tonight. I really don't think that you have anything to worry about. You were great. Mel B. I love what you did again. You took a well-known song and completely flipped it upside down and made it your own. That sounded beautiful and what a solid performance. But I have to say, I'm really not sure about these clouds around you. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Howie. You know, uh, uh, Heidi said you got nothing to worry about. You do have something to worry about. I think that you're probably musically the most talented group we have. You are by far my favorite. But I think more people will vote for Miguel-like people who are like a... If you're voting purely on talent, America should vote you. If you vote on a popularity contest, then it's Miguel. But you're more talented. You're amazing. Howard. 
Well, let me point out to Mel B., my fellow judge. Now, that's a singer. You see, you see what? Take a good look and learn that that's a singer. Because, because you're, you're looking for a guy with his shirt off. No. This guy can sing. The only problem I have with you guys, the worst name for a band, Sons of Serendip. What? Uh, I heard the explanation. It's, guys, please. I, I mean, that's crazy. But you're, the you're Spice Guys. The fantastic. Spice Guys. Spice Men. <laughs> spice Men. You're fantastic. All right. Maybe we'll shorten it up for Howard. We'll call you SOS for a second. SOS. They loved your voice. They said you're the most talented. Clearly, you guys are awesome musicians. How do you feel you did? You know, we prepared a lot for this moment, and we feel like we gave our all, and that's all we can really do. And we're just grateful for this opportunity to be here. So thank you guys. Great job, SOS. <laughs> To put the guys into the top 12, you know what you gotta do, you gotta vote.